as we begin game two of this best of three series here the story being can United bounce back from a crushing penalty loss here as now look at that that's a roster that I'm more familiar with Marina 1100 Celio Cat Equivs and who was that last guy who did I miss there yeah who did I miss who did I miss who did I miss who did I miss mystical as TKO will be running Rama Reaper Jody Blanco ultimate jug and the Nablus who has brought out the new champion to sod how the hell do you say his fucking name excuse my French nobody knows gonna be a very interesting match here we'll see where everybody is going here game two Marina heading to this top lane. Very interesting placement so far. We'll be cycling through. We are seeing our first match with Tassad in the game. I played a couple of bot games next to, against them, and I could tell you if it was a real person hiding behind that champion it would be a world of pain for me <laughs> that's why I do the spectating and I let all you players play the game it's way easier to talk crap from up here than it is from down there <laughs> as we'll see nut wasn't a really good pick for Reaper in the last TKO United match that I did have it's on my YouTube you guys can check on the info panel we'll see if he brings a better nut game out and we'll see look at that to side Having to draw out some TPs. Is it going to be enough? The silence goes out. Horse is there. Desaad running away for his life, but he ends up taking down Slagfist. Look at that. Another TP coming in for United. Helm Slagfist is there to try to avenge his teammate, but it doesn't look like much is going to happen here. United's got to be careful. Two more TPs coming in as all five members excuse me, are up. Helm Slagfist will go down for TKO and Jumbra will go down as well. And look at that. All TPs being blown there for United and they end up stealing a kill. Mm -hmm. I'm about to eat out the match. And look at that. TKO a little, uh, a little trigger happy. Paying the price there early on. TKO want to do their best and squash United early. United has a different idea when it comes to the outcome of this match. Nut is really going to have to bring the A game here. This mid lane is a absolute an absolute priority for TKO. Was a fault in their last loss against TKO that I do have on file here at the side. Coming out, looking to avenge Slagfist. We'll get there in time. And look at that. Just like that, teams are split up. Look at that dive. Nut was going in it for the win. We'll take down Slagfist. Jumbra. However, we'll catch up and I think we'll do the same here to Saad. We'll wrap that up. Jumbra coming in, maybe trying to avenge their teammate. We'll get the stun off, but got to be careful. Look who shows up. Blue buff Jumbra jumping right in on the Nablus. The Nablus not going to be able to get out of this one. And now TKO's Jumbra has got to get out of there as fast as possible. Jody Blanco with the shield TP coming in. Nablus right back into the fight, but isn't able to do much other than body block United from doing any more damage here. And we'll see now. Both team members are split up. Jumbra versus Jumbra. Helm versus now. Oh, no. Another TP coming in on United as now Molten Lord is in the bush. I don't think anybody knows. Now they know because he just threw the fireball. 
Jornbro's got to be careful. He split up. Can he get to the tower in time? No, he can't. Nablus unable to defend his teammate. And we'll see if TKO can respond. As it is 5-2 to two in favor of TKO. Down 1,000 gold. Nearly 1,000 gold. United with an early lead as I am going to take a bite out of my pizza. Mm -mm -mm. I got pizza. Pizza is so good. For the tree. United basically saying I want nothing to do with that game one. This is our game one here. And look at that nut jumping up in the air, but it's not going to do enough. But it will actually do enough to deter Helm Cyphus from pushing any further forward. As now the creeps will come in. He'll try to take advantage of that. As we haven't really been taking a look at this mid game here. What's going on here? Molten Lord being allowed to free farm here. Surely will be level 6 soon. Will be able to take a couple of pot shots off that tower. See the cap in the jungle. And United is all over this map. As TKO seems to be in a bit of a defensive posture. And another battle coming here. The stun does go off. Nut will throw the ultimate and will end up taking her rival Nut down. It is two to six. Very interesting here. Ultimate's being popped. Slackfish trying to get the heal off, but Jumbra will get the ultimate and is going to take down Helm Slagfist. And TKO in a world of trouble here. Nut will go down. Look at that. The slow is on. Can he get the kill? It's so close. Oh, he has to walk away. We'll see. As Tassad oh, is, get take, uh, is taken down at the dragon. Not sure what was uh, transpiring down there. Looks like he was caught trying to make a bait. 3 to 8 is the score. Six and a half minutes. We'll start taking a look at people's items here. Nut opting for the damage. United overall making progress. And the Nablus needs to be careful. He's level 4. New champion. Gotta wonder if he's fitting in with this meta right. In the previous matches that I've casted for both teams, TKO starting off very strong, fizzling out a little later. TKO starting a little, a little weaker this time around. We gotta wonder if maybe they'll do exactly as United did and just outscale later on. And look at that, TKO. Pouncing on Nut. TP coming in. Can they pop the shield in time before the TP goes off? No, they can't. Look at that. Three members teleporting right there on Nut. What is going to happen? Who goes down? Jumper goes down. And United capitalizing on the team fight. Nut will go down for United, but it is a two for one trade here. Ultimate is going off. Who's the drummer that popped it off? Nablus running away for his life. Can he escape? And it doesn't look like Nablus could escape from that fight. As all of a sudden, United doing everything that they can to do the damage. Horse will go down. Jumper will go down. And just like that, TKO trying to turn it around. But not at the cost. Not without costing their team a tower. Way too many teleports for that one fight here. As we'll take a look. Equivs now operating on TKO's side of the map. Very difficult to cast this game and eat a pizza, I'll tell you that much.
Rosters being an issue here for both teams coming into the match. And who's going to go down? It is Horse that's going to go down to Saad. Laying chase, but another teleport coming in. And who is it? It's Nut. And all of a sudden, the Nablus in a lot of trouble. Level 5 to Saad versus a level 9. Obviously, we saw that was going to happen. TKO not able to find any answers here as they are scattered all around the map. United like termites all through the jungle here. Six thousand gold lead, and we'll see. Now TKO is not op operating as a unit anymore. Just getting picked apart. Nut Jumbra go down. Horse goes down as well, and not a good showing here for TKO now. As we'll look at Slaughter's completely running through, unobstructed. Now the Guardian of the Cold is there in their sights. They most surely will take it uncontested. And a tower, two objectives. to the side dangerously under leveled in this match man that pizza was good taking a look now here dangerous situation here as United looking to pounce on Jombra here will land the slow but won't land the stun but they will not land the knockback to side level six trying his best with the blue buff to do anything but is peeled away Jombra going down the neighbors surely will be going down as well United taking off the tower massive massive peel look at the dive right past the inner tower completely overconfident getting wiped out TKO only down to two members TKO desperately trying to stop this bleeding but is it enough can they kill anybody from this United roster look how much health is like it's just they're just out tanking this entire this entire lineup here 7 to 21 12 and a half minutes And now, the fourth tower of the game going in favor of United. TKO in a hurry to make up any sort of lost ground. It's 12 minutes in. Can TKO hold out to that magic 20 minute mark? where they do start to scale a little better right now severely under farm look at this level 11 jumper level 12 molten lord level 12 nut level 10 slag fist and not one person on tko has been able to pass level 10. we'll take a look at these items but you pretty much could figure out by us by what was going on here what each team has built As TKO now in a defensive posture here. Nut will most likely be the first to level 10. But that's a long ways away, Nut. From United side here, we'll start taking a couple of pot shots inside. 
this kind of team fight could decide major comebacks. We'll see what's going on. Jombra popping in the base, destroying Helm Slagfish. Jombra going down. Nut going down as well. Nothing to do there. Horse is trying to get away. He won't get out in time. Jomer from TKO will be coming back in, but it's not enough as all five members of United are pouring inside of TKO's base. As United look to seal the deal here. In game two, United just really going off on this match. That 3v that 3v5 earlier is all but erased as the series is getting close to being tied. The stun will land on three of the five members of United, but is it enough? I don't think so. As now all members of TKO have to join in this fight to do something to save this base, but it doesn't look like it. As all of a sudden, TKO look to be even now with United. 15 and a half minutes minions beating in on the base. It's not going to be enough here. Nut goes down. Horse goes down. TKO just operating on instinct here trying to stay in it. But alas, it does go down here. 15 minutes. 30 seconds. Look at that. All of a sudden Helm goes down and TKO trying to turn on it. But it's not going to be enough as TKO will drop game two here to United. Series tied. 1-1. One, one.